part two of the Hell Train arc has been completed according to me. Let's get into this because it was really, really spicy. Basically, Yuri the princess is like, if you want to go to the floor of death, you have to go to the name floor and you have to bring me Kaiser's name. And the name floor is like people's names get stolen, they get stuck there, and then Kaiser is like the head of it, and it's like the top D rank regular. We find out that Kaiser was going to be a princess, and Kaiser is a girl. So Bam goes there under the guise of being a Slayer candidate, so Jute, Viol, great. I will spare you all the details, but Kaiser and Bam fight. Of course Bam wins, we find out the secrets of the floor, yada yada yada. And Bam gets his teacher to pay off Kaiser's debts so Kaiser no longer has to be like the floor master of the name floor. So after that $10 billion debt is paid off, or whatever their currency is there, they are going back onto the train with Kaiser's name, right? But no! Karakaka, or Karaka, I don't know his name, comes and he's a legit slayer. And he's looking for freaking Bam or Juvial Grace. And then Yuri pops out and is trying to defend Bam. It's, it's a really wild sequence of events, to be honest. But basically, Yuri can't fully protect Bam because Karakaka is so strong. And she was also trying to let all of those, all of Bam's friends and the regulars back onto the train. So she didn't want to use her full power and just like destroy the path and like kill him or something. So Karakaka goes and sees Bam, okay? And then Bam's like trying to stall for time. And he's like, yo, I know somebody with your ring. I've seen that ring before. And then Karakaka goes crazy. He's like, what is going on? Who do you know? So basically, I stopped reading where Karakaka is like, my brother's alive. And then we end on a scene with him. With, I forgot his name, Wagnon. Okay. So it turns out that he's like a freaking, I don't know. He's related to a slayer. I thought he was supposed to be a prince though. 